Chicken pot pie is so comforting and it is actually one of my favorite dishes. So let's show you how to make this really simple one. So we're gonna let that heat up and we're gonna add about a third cup of butter. Let that melt, get nice and saucy. So now we are ready to add our onion. But we might as well add some salt and some pepper. It's about a half teaspoon of each. Now our onion should be softening up a good bit now. And our butter's kind of browning on the edges, but not burning, which is really good. And now we can just go ahead, add that flour in. Now we're gonna add our broth. And you wanna add it kind of gradually so that we don't get clumps. Okay, so look at this luscious gravy we have. It's, it looks thick. In order to make this like a really creamy pot pie, we wanna add some milk. So it was kind of thick before, but now it's more of a saucy, saucy gravy. So we have frozen and thawed peas and carrots, quickly steamed potatoes. Gonna add some thyme. Now, some chicken. So that was two cups of chopped cooked chicken, which comes easily from one rotisserie chicken or from two grilled or cooked chicken breasts that you might have on hand. Now for everybody's favorite part of chicken pot pie, the actual pie. So we've got a deep dish pie plate and it doesn't have to be greased because the crust has so much butter. We've got we've some refrigerated pie crust here. Make this easy. You can make your own, of course. All right, now let's add our filling. Because this is a double crust, we're not gonna par bake our bottom crust. That just doesn't work with a double. Look at how nicely that fits in there. Now we've got our top crust. And we're done, no, just kidding. So we're going to fold the crust over the bottom. Gonna make sure that they're solidly together. So just take one finger, two fingers, press those two crusts together. You gotta have some sort of opening in your crust. It's gotta be vented. We're gonna now put her in the oven at 425 degrees. She should take about 30 minutes, which will make a beautifully golden crust, some bubbly edges, and just a wonderful pie. While this is cooking, hit subscribe and ring that bell. Let us know in the comments how you made this recipe your own. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful she is. Mom would be so proud. Look at that. So I guess we should just stop looking at it and eat it, right? That is so comforting, so delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to tell us how you make your chicken pot pie.